already had a fruit roll up. Which I forget bag? how much fruit roll up. What's your favorite bag? What's my favorite thing? Yeah. Probably the ding dongs. Also, this man just called the cupcake a ding dong. Why would? Man, what the? Fuck? By the way, I just got contacted by my friend that's a producer, and he's like, "Hey, a girlfriend of mine who is producing Stone Cold Steve Austin's show scratched. said a while back, him and his nephew <laughs> tried to go to the Long Beach shop, oh, and you kicked him up. out." He's like, "Long story short, can he come by your new shop?" <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. He's a household name for stomping mud holes in people's masks. Yeah, maybe they just. <laughs> well. You are on some violence today. <laughs> That's what he does. My lady was really drunk once and called him Cold Stone Steve Cold Austin. Yo. <laughs> so, <Cold Stone laughs> by the way, no, I'm into that. Yo, wait, wait, wait. My friend's sister's husband, he wrestles, and his name is. Cold Stone Steve Boston. Oh! Yeah. I'd like to tell you the story about the myth of a man named Brian Scotto. The only human being on the planet that owns this and also owns this at not, the same time. Not only owns it, but it truly loves this probably more. Right. Well, so, tell us a little, what, which one do you want to talk yeah, about first? It's a race car. It's got... It is a race car. It's yeah. got center locks. It's got a wing. It's got a vent here. It's got a vent there. It's, it's got, got carbon, carbon fiber. fiber. It's got yellow headlights. Brian, what is it? For the people that don't know. It's a Ferrari 360 Modena. shifter but they're like a lot more money they're way so. more expensive they're and way the f1 expensive. boxes i still enjoy I, I don't know i'll probably eventually swap this to gated but yeah wait people do that yeah so the transmission in here it's the same transmission it's it's actually a manual transmission oh. and the f1 box just controls it so it's got like so you can yeah, it's a yeah, pneumatic. So it's the a F1 pneumatic box shifter. is early day, like before dual clutch. It was a single clutch, so it's a manual transmission shifted automatically. So it's a single clutch, manual transmission box, but you use paddles to go it's through an the gears. Automated manual. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. Maybe I'm an outlier, but that's kind of cool to me because it's like you're not getting this so car I'll to set lap times the, and shit. Well, you know? actually, that's the weird part. This thing destroys the manual transmission on track. The reason people get manual trans is odd is to drive it in traffic. It's because it doesn't drive smoothly in traffic. Yeah. So it's the opposite of like, most people want autos because like, oh, it's so easy to drive in traffic. Right, right, right. In this car, it's actually so clunky at slow speed. It really only works well at high speed. And it's European. So, you know, like the M3 CSL, all like the premium, like the better version of this is the Challenge Stradale. That only came F1 only. in F1. Like they didn't make it oh, in manual. interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah same with Ferrari the... guys over here. Yeah, big Ferrari guys. Big Ferrari guys. Ferrari guys. Big, big. <laughs> Where's your jacket? So, I don't speak rich. Yeah, yeah no. big. I'm just I, like. I, I forgot my loafers today. I think I need Gucci loafers for this thing. I think he just bought this, the F1 edition. So he yeah, had addition. something to do to it. Right, yeah. It's like, I'm going to man I'm going to man this I have to tear yeah. something yeah. out of this. You know, so I nice talked car, to Brian yeah. for a lot before buying this one. And he was like, there was another one for sale that our friend Rob was selling. And it was already manual swap. We got, a, we got an entrance ramp instead. You know, this thing's not it's fucking it's super car, Brian. Oh. I'm gonna get this one and I think like a manual swaps only like you know XM and I literally stopped him and I was like do not buy this car I was like cuz it's gonna end up 
next to the F600 with like parts blown out behind it, and an Audi V10 next it's to gonna it. It's going to get the Scotto layer of patina going on it. But how do you like it? This thing's sick. You bought it in NorCal, right? Yeah, so I bought this thing in NorCal, and there's a little bit of video you can watch. All right, so the plan today is to take the coast all the way down, drive Route 1 along the water. It's gonna be probably like a seven hour trip or something. I forget how many miles it is. But first, I wanted to come by and uh, thank Danny over at you know motors because even though i bought this car sight unseen i had someone else look at it who actually knew a thing or two about ferraris and a lot of italian cars he's working on italian cars like as frustrating as it sounds uh it is <laughs> <laughs> it's fun but yeah when something goes wrong it really goes wrong <laughs> yeah but it's, it's fine it's fun like, oh, right no, before no, no, like no. a 400 no, mile drive <laughs> <laughs> well Dan, thank you very much yeah, for looking at this car thank sorting it out he took care of all the service stuff for me timing belt service and yeah all the stuff you have to enter through the actual car, right? You gotta go take the seats out and go yeah. through the bulkhead. Was, yeah, I'm too big for that. It was, it was a fun job. So. Yeah. So we made it down to Route 1, which is one of the most awesome drives. Just below Monterey, yeah, just, just below, are we below Carmel too? Yeah. Yeah, so nope. we missed lunch. We were supposed to stop in Carmel for lunch, but it was just too much good times of old dudes talking about shit in a Ferrari. Fucking beautiful out here though. Not a bad place to drive a car the first time. So anyway, gonna continue down and drive the one all the way back into LA. So far, things been great. It's fucking awesome. We keep driving and being like, we're driving a Ferrari. Like this is just wild. So we're here in what I think is probably one of the most beautiful parts of at least California, if not the entire West Coast. This thing is so rad. It is, oh, what, what a great car. So, so much fun. I figured I'd actually take a second to actually tell you that that is. So it's a Ferrari 360 Modena, but it has a bunch of stuff done to it because I couldn't help myself but buy a risotto version of uh, this thing. So it's got plenty of spaghetti. It's the NGT bumper kit on it, basically the race car spec kit and wing. A three-way jersey coilovers, Challenge Stradale seats, Challenge Stradale rear mesh diffuser, like the engine, I don't know, I guess, yeah, Challenge Stradale engine rear mesh vent, fab speed exhaust, which makes it sound sick. <laughs> It's converted to center lock. Uh, right now it's got a set of BBSs on it. We'll be making some cool rotiforms for this at some point. It's got the Le Mans style spec Lamex headlight cover. I absolutely love it. But this thing's great. It is a F1 box and I'll be honest, I bought it totally expecting to immediately convert it to gated because gated's a ton of fun. It's super car ride. I actually really like the F1 box. It's not bad. What do you think so far, Tones? A little bit of a headache from it. it smells musty. The stereo doesn't work very well. No, stereo, stereo, stereo like two thumbs down. Stereo kind of stuff. It's not nice. It's that. Nine dollars seventy-nine cents. Ferrari life ain't cheap. That's, a, that's dollars for a gallon. That is just insane. Anyway, uh, as much as I love Big Sur, I guess it is pretty hard to get gas here. actually made it rad because we took an 11 hour drive home in this in, with my buddy Tony Armour who I haven't had a road trip with in like I don't know years this was like my my you know the term road dog this dude is my official road dog since day one yeah like we did zero 60 magazine together like we probably have no exaggeration 
25,000 miles together driving across the US and Europe. Damn. So it was, you know, it was a good little pickup. We went, got it, drove it down the one. It's kind of like the best possible inaugural trip you could have in a Ferrari. Yeah. But I have to admit, I'm still having a hard time realizing that I own this because this is how I identify right. as an ugly <laughs> Audi wagon. <laughs> like when I'm driving this around, I think people see this on the outside. <laughs> Looks like this Come to here. Ryan. Yeah. Look at this situation. Hey, uh, Look at this. Uh, the fact that Look there's at a this. open cactus cooler in there. I didn't even know we made this. This is actually really good. Yeah, I've got it specifically for this trip. I didn't even know this was a thing. It's, a, it's a plate we got, and I brought that specifically for that road trip. I thought that it would open from here. <laughs> like, where do you think this fucking Who hatch stole this? From? Wait, why was this? Gross. Suck. Gross. Ew. Gross. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was my sock. Probably. Sucks Probably. Like what happened here? What? I don't know. Like, like Joel, that wheel looks like it. it Sam! Like, like someone printed it wrong. <laughs> it's like two inches low. Yo, electric seats, though? Yeah, man. This yeah. thing was the pinnacle of Audi luxury and performance. At what and mileage like, does your foot just blast a hole through wait, the wait, trans electric tunnel? Electric seats. But this looks like that the, the cigarette machine pull, you know, from bowling alleys back in the day. I do love, though, that we're here. I bought a Ferrari. It's over there. We haven't really looked at much on that. It's, it, this is what we're looking at. literally nobody on earth that owns that car also owns this car. If you're trying to win the ultimate Subaru hot boy daily driver and $20,000 worth of cash to blow irresponsibly, well guess what? I've got just the thing for you. Here's what you get. 2021 Subaru WRX STI with the Varus body kit, louvers for days, sitting on TSW Amatra wheels with the Falcon 615, 265s all around. Go to hoonigan.com slash STI. Enter for your chance to win, baby! <laughs> Holy... <laughs> The kit. All right, yeah, so you got the you got the wing. There's obviously a non OEM front what does it bumper. Say? It says Ferrari. For for us First poor, of all, don't ever talk to me like that again. <laughs> for us poor, can you explain what is this a package? Is okay, it like so piece together. This is so this car started as a 360 Modena, which is basically the basic 360. So it's a basic bitch car. But then the previous owner put on the NGT kit, which includes this bumper, the front bumper the wing and then also converted it to a center lock the center locks hot yeah and do you own a socket to take that off yes it's in the front seat <laughs> nice <laughs> where it belongs. Yeah, of course it is oh it's my that. god that's that thing yeah that's that's what it do you know? i don't know i don't think i own that tool which is you part pass of the over the two inch ratchet just in case you thought anything changed about me though there's still an old muffin in here. Oh, God. How, when, when was that procured? Uh, when I bought the car. So. Oh, of course. Of oh, course. Man. Rando cream soda just shows. <laughs> what is this? You know what this usually comes with? Boston baked beans. There you go. Uh, it's a retirement you know special. Is this carbon trim factory or no? No. So the carbon trim's been added. Those seats are the seats out of the Stradale, which like are oh, apparently a shit. big thing. Yeah. It, it, but without those seats, I wouldn't fit in the car. The seats are dope. You know, my favorite part about this is it's like, it's clear that you're taking care of this in the exact same way you take care of all of your cars, which is like, yeah, hit it with the hose maybe here and there. Oh, it's raining? Sick. I'm going to park outside. <laughs> Cover it with soap first. Like, first of all, what, this. What size is this? This is, that's 3.6, that's a 360. Damn, titanium. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, for the end. Yo, titanium exhaust. Titanium exhaust is sick. This whole vented, like. Oh, uh, yeah, this thing. So, are it's these aftermarket sport. headers? Is this yeah. just. This so car's headers uh, and exhaust is all perfectly legal in the state of California. I thought you were going to say, is this an aftermarket car with all that square tubing? <laughs> <laughs> the Italians love that square tubing. 
Is that a bolt-in <laughs> chassis? Yo, uh, Ferraris are just really expensive kit cars, man. I think I lose my ability to buy other Ferraris by saying that. Uh, you know if you buy a Ferrari and modify it in a way the Ferrari doesn't like, they you're not allowed you, to right? buy Ferraris oh. anymore? Wow. Yeah. So, you said it's a 3.6 V8. Yeah. How many cams? Four? Yes. Zach, Four how do you feel about that? V8? I mean, you what's know the, what? What's the horsepower on these? Stop. I'll respect it. I don't actually know. I always love these things. So, it's got some. You don't buy this car because of the power. You buy this car because it sounds amazing. Yeah, the noise is. The noise is everything. It, the whole level. thing is the noise. I think it's, we, it's definitely not my fastest car. I mean, this could be faster. Actually, 400 horsepower. Wait, yeah, did you some. did you just do you want to go yourself? Yeah. <laughs> you need the. No, no, no. Let's let's yeah. not do that. Let's not. Yeah, let's hit him with a couple clicks. Stay away. It's been stay a while. Away. Stay Are you away. sure? Stay away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, what is what is that? It's got JRZ coilovers. What is that? Oh, like that sensor that's clearly not. <laughs> I'm familiar with. It. If there's a knob on the turning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's all right here. Brian. Height modulating. It's all right here. Just gotta feel it. All right. You just say the word. Just keep him away from the car, okay? Just say the word. Uh, let's just talk about how. Brian was in a meeting. We needed to move the car out. Yeah. He specifically said, Ron is the only one. <laughs> <laughs> like, with passion. Right. Yeah. It's Ron. like, Ron can move the car. <laughs> no, none of the other yeah. chuckles around here. Hey. I mean, it, it was a, it was the list of who I trust most out of people I do not trust at all. <laughs> like, it wasn't like you were by any means trustworthy. Of course. We got to do a good old-fashioned rev off. I'm that yeah, we'll let this with a cold yeah, start real quick. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear that. That's four chance. Yeah, it's sick. He forgot to put gas in it. <laughs> now, when you say security system, were you bypassing something under the dash there? No, uh, the factory security system requires you, if you haven't started the car in a minute, it goes back into in the lock. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds exciting. That sounds great. It's really embarrassing the first time you can't restart your car. Yes. Yo, so Yo. good. It's the, like the actual reason you buy a car right. like that. The whole reason. We, uh, we test drove a 360. I went with Brian to help him make a bad decision. And like the second we drove it down the block, I was like, yeah, you gotta buy one of these. Of course. They're sick. Yeah. It doesn't matter. That's a so dude, sick. small displacement V8. It's so sick. Like 3.6 liter V8. It's so cool. You guys want to hear like, what it sounds like? What? You on the outside? Who's revving it? I got you. Keep it under eight. Okay. Now you call it. Okay. I haven't actually heard the car from the outside. I feel like cars don't sound the same revving as they do driving. No. Oh, under no. load is a totally different oh, bike. Pretty pissed off sounding. I was saying the exhaust is like a movie. Like it's going in and out, shaking all around. No, it sounds. Do you remember the 360 challenge video game? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this. I mean, that's one of the reasons I bought the car, right? <laughs> it's like this for me was up there. It's like 911. And then this with dream cars, so I'm done. Well, no, you're not. Then there's no, this. you're not. What are you gonna buy no, that could sound this cool for that amount of money? You know, like you can't make anything that sounds this cool. No. It I just, mean, maybe we should start up and rev the wagon. You wagon? Gotta have I think a the wagon. The wagon actually sounds kind of. You, you want to hear the wagon? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll go get my keys. Supercar Scotto.